15 years ago, John Beeline was leading West Virginia to the Elite Eight with his 1-3-1 zone defense. This is West Virginia's Sweet 16 game against Bob Knight's Texas Tech, and Beeline threw all types of junk defense at the Red Raiders. Sometimes it looked like a 1-3-1, sometimes it looked like a 2-3, and sometimes it looked like a matchup. Ignoring the fact that the Raptors actually just went to a box and one against Steph Curry in the NBA Finals. This West Virginia defense you're watching is almost the opposite of the typical modern NBA style. West Virginia did force a lot of turnovers, but all their rotations and scrambles also led to a lot of very easy baskets. And in general, the NBA has become obsessed with avoiding those rotations. you'll often see NBA defenses refuse to help off the corner, with a defender actually turning his back on the ball in order to take away catch and shoot threes. As spacing and shooting has improved, this has become the norm in the NBA, but not so much in college. Most high-level NCAA programs still prioritize help. They'll give up a three if it means better protection of the paint. But there's a notable exception, John Beeline. At Michigan, Beeline got rid of the zone and adapted an NBA philosophy of no help unless absolutely necessary. A seemingly drastic change for a guy with no NBA experience that started as a high school coach. You know, I've coached at every level. I guess I'm going to be the only guy to could coach at every level ever as a head coach. And uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a dream come true to be able to, to have a, a position like this. Beeline's not exaggerating here. He went from high school to junior college to Division three to Division two to Division one and now to the NBA. We've already talked about his defense, but in his 45-year career, he's really been known as an offensive genius. But similar to the defense, his offense has evolved over time. Back in 2005, West Virginia had the feel of a Princeton offense team with methodical off-ball movement and passing. Here you can see they get Texas Tech on backdoor cuts. This play shows the general flow for a beeline offense back in 2005. Pin downs, face cuts, back door cuts, flare screens, all working together to find an optimal shot. In those West Virginia days, well over half of their possessions in the half court started with this pin down play. We still saw the play at Michigan, but with much less frequency in recent years. In the 2005 Sweet 16, West Virginia used the pin down play to occupy defenders for middle drives. They also used it for star big Kevin Pitznagel. Here you can see he complements the cutter by popping to the three.
to start the second half, West Virginia stayed with the pin down play, but the halftime adjustment was clearly to use it to get Pitznagel right into the post. Another play that Beeline's famous for that led to an open three in this game is his slice screen the screener set. He is a shooter set a slice screen only to immediately get a screen of his own. In this example, that shooter was his son Patrick Beeline. Patrick was the head coach at Division II Lemoyne College last season. And to no one's surprise, here's his team nailing a three off the same exact set. He runs a very similar offense to his father. Here's the pin down set just for good measure. But back to 2005 now, there was something notably missing from Beeline's offense, and really most offenses during that time, ball screens. Here West Virginia is looking to burn some clock up four with under two minutes left. In today's game, this would very likely result in a late clock spread ball screen. But here, no ball screen ever comes and it leads to an ugly possession. So we had, we had gradually changed a lot that we did back when Mike and Patrick were playing for us to more of an NBA style, a little, uh, just a mix of it. And uh, so hearing from them all, they, they like Karis LeVert, for example, and I forget him, you know, he said, Coach, you're, what we do will work. You just got to make sure you have the right people on that team that, that will play unselfishly. And that's from Karis. And so um, he, he, had, right, he had told me about some franchises maybe wouldn't be good for me, right? And then he, he very much knows this franchise is where I, I would want to be. We had gradually changed a lot of what we did back when Mike and Patrick were playing with us to more of an NBA style. That's the key quote from Beeline here and the reason why a former high school coach with no NBA experience is actually well suited for the modern NBA game. We've already talked about two of his offensive sets, but his third set, Chin, has been the most important for incorporating ball screens. Here you see Chin back in 2005, where West Virginia used the back screen and flare screen to try to directly create a three. But at Michigan, Chin was used more and more as initial action to get into a spread ball screen. In 2008, which is the earliest year we have data, just 7% of beeline plays ended with a ball screen. This past season, that number was at a career high 39%. And it wasn't just the Chin series. Here's the pin down, but when Beeline had Trey Burke, the pin down became more just false action to get a ball reversal into a wedge ball screen for Burke. Jeff Van Gundy reached out right away. I, Jeff was my last recruit at Nazareth College back in 1983. And then uh, Jerry West, I got to know really well uh, in my times at West Virginia. And both of them said, do not, you know, you certainly have to tweak, but be who you are. There's a reason why you have got to this level, why you were selected. Do not, uh, Jerry told me a long time ago, uh, a, a problem some college coaches have think they have to change. We'll certainly change. That's why I'm still coaching 40 years. I've changed from Newfane to the junior college to all the divisions. I continue to change and evolve. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try to fit this, what I believe are really strong, and then adapt. And uh, whether it's Kobe, whether it's JB, whether it's the rest of the staff, with our strength coaches, our dietitians, they're going to help me adapt too.
Adapting is exactly what Beeline has done throughout his whole career. At its essence, you're still watching the same system in 2019 as in 2005, but with necessary evolution. And it's pretty clear that's how things will continue with the Cavs. But should it? Would Beeline be better off starting from scratch? The answer is an obvious no to me when you look at the details of his system. That word, system, probably gets overused in basketball, but not with Beeline. The different sets and plays all have a purpose and a disguise. Here it looks like Michigan's getting into their slice set. The ball would normally get reversed for the slice screen, but instead it's their counter throwback play for the UCLA screen. It's this attention to detail that's made the Beeline system special. Watch how regardless of the year or player, every beeline big has the same footwork and pivot on their throwback. Another example is on the pin play, where year after year, Beeline has taught this concept. The guard initially rejects the pin, only to have the big re-pin again to catch a sleeping defender. It's details like these that have rightfully earned Beeline his offensive reputation. We'll end this video with my favorite attention to detail example that again comes from the 2005 Sweet 16. Late in the game, Beeline calls a late clock play for a double gap drive. West Virginia clears out the help defender and forces number three to have an extra long stunt and recover, which creates a Patrick Beeline three. But watch again as John essentially predicts the future by literally bending down and pointing to the spot he wants his son to get in seconds before he gets open from that exact spot for the three. 